there's a hole in my hose. Dear Liza, dear Liza, there's a hole in my hose. Dang. And this was the good hose. Oh well. Well, as you can see, this is really rotted out. It's got quite a bit of rust. We just ran a test load through. It did okay. It did okay. Uh, but now I'm going to vacuum all this rust out. I chipped all the way around the edge to try to keep stuff from falling into the clothes, which it did on our test. And let's see what else happens on our next load. It helps to have lots of leverage. Yes, women need bigger tools. <laughs> Rhonda is working on installing our very, very amazingly rusty washing machine that we got for a hundred bucks because we don't have a washing machine and we're super excited to have one, especially with all, oh, it's gonna do its thing. Oh, bad, it's seriously rusty, she's got a hose tied to it. She's got it going out the old kitchen drain. We'll see what's gonna happen. We'll see how that goes, we don't know yet. Yet. Bob brought us a cap to cap the hot water because we have hot water. This is amazing. And he's such a sweetheart. And now we see. How does this go? Nothing exciting yet. That's what you want to see when you're doing one of these tests is nothing exciting yet. You don't want to see water flowing out of that. You want to see the water just not even doing anything. You can't see the water. It's just going down. That's the best thing. This is Rhonda. Well, and the water that is on the floor, the hose wasn't quite tight. That's why I needed all those big wrenches to tighten up the hose right. and stuff. And you can see we've got some rocking and rolling for the agitation. We've got uneven floors and we've got an uneven washer. We've got little, see now the vibration is in Rhonda's arm. You can see that there instead. It's just a test though, because we're running the outside hose into the washer just as a test. Yes. So the washer is just hooked up to our spigot here um, to see how it goes. In a little while, Bob will get us, uh, he'll get us the right picture. Actually, while we're out, we can probably just get it. It looks like it's threaded. The old uh, on-off handle looks like it's threaded on. Okay. And uh, if it is, then I can just get another one that's got the right end on it and thread it on. That would be nice. That would be nice and simple. How fancy. So we're ever so grateful for our friends because they have been letting us use their washer and dryer oh this whole time. It's been so wonderful. And that has been amazingly wonderful. And we're ever so grateful that we are on to this next step of this next test that we might have a washer on premises. And we have some ropes, so we're going to hang things up to dry. And I'm super used to that. And I have soft touch for the floor of it. If, if it works, then we'll hopefully have it balanced even and quieter than me keeping my hip <laughs> And in New Zealand, they don't use dryers very often. They use just drying on the lines. And that's not Rhonda's favorite because it gets kind of, the clothes go rougher. They're so, right. So line drying is definitely rougher, but it matters with newer materials. It matters with different things. And also you can kind of beat them a little bit and they soften up. But step one, washer. Next step will be dryer. Yay.